The purpose of this movement analysis video is to analyze the kick of a soccer ball looking at the three joints, muscles, and movements involved in the three phases of the kick. The first phase in kicking a soccer ball is the pullback phase. In this phase, the right leg will be pulled back and the left leg will be planted next to the ball. This involves a concentric contraction of the hamstrings and gluteus maximus that results in hip extension. The hip will internally rotate because of a concentric contraction of the gluteus medius. The knee will be pulled into flexion, which is initiated by the popliteus muscle. There is a concentric contraction of the hamstrings, which includes the rectus femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. The hamstrings are the prime mover in knee flexion. The right ankle is in plantar flexion due to the concentric contraction of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. The plantaris also contracts and acts only as an assister in this joint motion. Phase 2 begins when the kicker starts to swing their leg towards the ball. This is where the power is initiated at before contact is made. The hip begins to go into flexion because of a concentric contraction of the rectus femoris and iliopsoas muscles. Internal rotation of the gluteus minimus keeps the knee directly above the ball. The knee begins to extend by concentric contraction of the quadriceps, which include the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and vastus intermedialis. The knee does not go into full extension until after contact with the ball. The ankle is held in plantar flexion throughout the swing phase by isometric contraction of the soleus and gastrocnemia. Phase 3, the follow-through, begins after contact with the ball. The leg begins to decelerate. The hip continues into flexion, but the motion is controlled by eccentric contractions of the hamstrings and the gluteus maximus. The hip goes into adduction by eccentric contraction of the abductors, which include the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. There is extreme internal rotation, and that is controlled by eccentric contraction of the deep rotator muscles as well as the gluteus maximus. The ankle begins to relax and is held in plantar flexion by gravity. Here you can see the gastrocnemius turn off after contact with the ball. The ankle is held in neutral position and only points inward because of the excessive internal rotation at the hip. During the kick of a soccer ball, the power comes from the knee and hip, while the ankle is held in an isometric contraction to act in the same way as a bat would act on a baseball.